Hi, my name is Tian, as the title says, and uh, I decided to start making a vlog um, of my experience as a as a pilot starting rather late in his in his life. Uh, well, late relative for me, I, I believe it's quite common for people to to start at the age that I'm starting at. So maybe not so strange, but I think a different experience um, to go through the training and to go through. Um, everything that you have to go through, uh, the learning curve, um, everything. So uh, I just decided let's start a, a collection of videos, um, sort of tracking the progress that I make through um, going through the PPL training uh, and also the process of purchasing a second-hand airplane and what that involves and the relationships and the people and the things that you might not expect. Um, uh, these might be entertaining videos uh, in some stages. Uh, there will definitely be loads of footage of flying and uh, the ground experience and everything that goes along with this journey. Uh, uh, this is literally my first video and I literally know nothing at this present um, except that I have a passion for flying. Uh, so I think uh, now to see whether I actually have the skills. The things I'd like to talk about um, would initially be just the training, initially be uh, the progress that I make, and perhaps the things to consider. You know, what are the costs involved? How did I prepare for the costs that are associated with um, with doing your PPL? Um, how did I? Um, get into flying well, what made me want to do this and how did I approach this uh, between work and uh, priorities and family um, yeah and again all of these will be very subjective they will be my opinions uh, for the most part and maybe the opinions of some other people uh, depending on how camera shy the people are that I deal with my first lesson uh, I got into a Cessna uh, 172 and it was with a lovely instructor called Achim and the interaction with the school was great um, so from the first time that I approached them discussing what my priorities were deciding what I wanted to do because at a very, very early stage I needed to make a decision was I going to do a, a light sport aircraft um, qualification uh, in South Africa it's known as an NPM um, uh, or was I going to do a normal PPL a private pilot license and to me the decision wasn't as straightforward there are schools to consider there are instructors to consider there are costs to consider of course there are also um, things to consider about what you want to do you know I have no aspirations to become a commercial pilot uh, I doubt I'll often fly um, a lot of passengers with me um, so my primary reason for ultimately deciding on a PPL was a, a complex one but in the end uh, it was was really about FOMO um, you know putting myself into a smaller box and saying well now you can't do a night rating and now you can't go into not that you can never change from an NPL to an PPL but somehow it feels if you go down that path you you end up I don't know not going further so after discussing with uh, some some people who've gone through the same decision making process I came up with the conclusions that I have and I don't think it's a it's a case of one is better than the other or one is right and one is wrong it's a very personal um, personal decision that you have to make I I think both of them are perfectly appropriate options obviously they wouldn't exist uh, but for me the route of going PPL was the one I favored in the end uh, and that's the path that I started on so back to my first uh, flight 
uh, I got checked in, we did all the paperwork, um, we discussed uh, uh, trainers or, or instructors, we discussed the different uh, plane options, and I'll get into that in a later video. And then we really briefed and did what you do. So it started out with a with an introduction to the airplane, it started out in, with an introduction to uh, the pre-flight inspection around the airplane, and you know there are a gazillion videos out there showing the actual inspection and what you have to do. So that's not my intention. Uh, this is really to 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 vlog my personal experience and how I experienced it. Um, so yeah, after we did the inspection of the airplane, we got into the airplane and we did a short flight. Uh, the short flight was uh, taking off from uh, Wintervogel uh, Airport, uh, who is operated by Aerosport. Uh, they are also the company that I'm doing my PPL through. And got into the air, it was a beautifully clear day, it was about just after 12 in the afternoon, uh, South African time. And after takeoff, we did what you normally do is you gain altitude and we went through all the checks again in the aircraft um, and once we once we were at a, a, an altitude and, and stable forward flight I obviously got the opportunity to take over the basic controls during that time I experienced the effect of trim uh, I uh, experienced what the what the sort of the feeling was of the throttle, um, what the what the, what it felt like to control the yoke, um, and we progressed to ultimately land uh, at a, another local airport called Morningstar. Um, did a quick landing and did a little bit of taxi work, and then stopped to refuel to just top up the top of the tanks. And again, uh, I got to feel what it was like to taxi the aircraft, um, do some pedal work. And once we did that, took off. Obviously, I did not take off the airplane. That would um, have overwhelmed me quite a bit. Uh, once in the air, we again headed for Wintervogel. We um, got to about 1,500 feet and from that point on did a bunch of, of, of exercises um, training exercises I, I would assume they're training exercises um, but they involved um, controlled turns or banks of the aircraft uh, maintaining altitude uh, maintaining speed you know, some throttle control um, so basically the effect of control um, what that did, what all the flight surfaces were doing from the elevator, the throttle, the, the, the ailerons, um, pitching and banking, um, what the aircraft does when it slows down, when it speeds up. Yeah, and then went into a, a, a pattern at Wintervogel, and, which I botched. Uh, well, I didn't fly the plane per se, but I, I was obviously uh, supposed to maintain um, heading and uh, orientation to the runway, and all of this was like, wah! Um, but it went okay, but I, I flew too far, or didn't fly perfectly parallel, and that obviously um, caused us to be a little bit out, so uh, the instructor effectively took over. And... Um, yeah, landed us safely at Wintervogel and then we taxied back and had a, had a short debrief just about what we did, which was really uneventful because there wasn't really, it wasn't a lesson for critique, it was more just, this was like an introductory flight plus, um, but it was wonderful, the entire experience was wonderful, um, it was quite hot in the cab, so I was extremely happy when um, every time we landed we got to open up the window, but that was... Um, uh, really pleasant uh, so so I was I was a little bit hot under the collar and I was sweating around my headphones um, my headset so it, it was good but it was it was it wasn't just enjoyable it was also technical and um, the the atmosphere in the aircraft was more 
teaching than entertaining, which I really appreciated um, once I got used to it. Uh, so this isn't a joyride. This is a classroom. It's just coincidentally in the air. Uh, and everything is um, orientated towards procedure and safety, which I think is something to get used to. It's a mindset that you have to adopt. Um, there's going to be loads of time for fun and uh, laughter, etc. I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. But right now, it's 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 kind of serious. I mean, the mood the mood is effective, if I can put it into a different into a different word. It's it's not entertainment. So all in all, uh, a good experience. Uh, I'm excited to now book the next bunch of of hours. Uh, to do and I have still to see how that pans out how many hours can I do per week I, I do feel that I don't want to do one hour a week um, because that's just gonna make it too long and, and the time in between flight you it does set you back I'm pretty sure you forget a bunch of stuff so um, to make sure that I, that I stay in the in the rhythm of things uh, I do think that I would be um, looking to do at least two to three hours.